Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jen here. And Phil. Today we're gonna taste some tea. Of... Yes, yeah, so <laughs> of course we're gonna taste the tea. Yes, I'm gonna keep that a secret. Oh and no. From you and from <laughs> you guys too. So here is the story, right? Uh, a while ago, people were asking about what's the most expensive tea you ever had or That's even right, come that. up with a, like a top five or top 10 most expensive teas. I was like, that's really hard to, uh, you know, put up the whole list. Mm -hmm. But being in the fine tea industry in China for uh, decades, we definitely mm. come across yeah. many, many rare teas. I've even got a few on the list. I bet you and your mom. Woo. Yeah, and today's tea, Kind of belong to that list. Oh boy. So, um, super excited, but a little bit nervous. <laughs> it's a rock tea. That's yeah. all I'm saying for now. I don't okay. want that to give too okay. much like influence to you. All right. Yeah, anything. that's good. That's good. I'm excited to get to it. But just before that, if you guys are new to the channel, all right, we, our channel is all about Chinese TNT culture. You may mm -hmm. have guessed by now. Um, so be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever we drop a new video, we cover things like travel log in the Chinese tea regions, uh, live presentations, uh, tastings, how to brews, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. Yes. Are we going to dive into this tea? Let's do it. <laughs> awesome. So this is the um, this okay. is the leaf of the tea. Right, let's Here have a look is the here. leaf. Pretty okay. long. Mm -hmm. Nice and dark. Mm, wow, just like a good tea, the aroma is really subdued, but long, pretty lustrous leaf. Uh, pretty intact. Yeah. Any any observations from you? Um, Me? Oh, I knocked a piece no, out. I found it's very green made. <laughs> green made. I mean, it still look really dark, but in the um, range of rock tea, it's a sure, not new as, style process, right. which is really light. lighter brown than that sort of darker yeah. charcoal brown that we yeah, often see. Yeah, you would see. even see Especially, a little bit, almost like a greenish tone there, mm. which is more light. Okay. Mm. Splash down. Okay, I'm not as nervous now. I'm just excited. <laughs> this is okay. going to be good. I didn't have this tea. You haven't before. had this before? No. Okay. It's just a one little sample for little enjoyment. Oh, the little secret has my mind racing now, and I have some guesses before I even taste it. Yeah. my Oh, but you've never had it before, so that ruins that guess. Okay, okay. Okay, in that case, check out our Binyan. Hey. Oh, go ahead. Go Sorry, ahead. you go ahead. I was going to just say my thought was it might be the Binyan, the, the Binyan um, Shui Xian, but we've had that and you said you never had it. But if people want to see that hmm. Grove, check out our vlog about that. That was super amazing. Right. Want to smell this? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, for like heated up humid leaf, it's still very reserved, but really dominant, uh, like reserved, but present. I don't know, it sounds weird that I right. say it's reserved, but dominant, but there's a very present chocolatey, but with some woody, mm. chocolatey, woody kind of, um, almost like a chocolatey in a forest. <laughs> chocolatey in a forest, if that makes sense. Like right. A, for me, it's the roasty was still mm. on top. Mm. It didn't fully sink in. We might have enjoyed this a little bit too early. Should have let it stay for a little bit longer, but it's not. Mm. The time is now. Yes. Will we have another chance? No, I literally oh, just have... Oh, singles are... I'm let not very blown smell. away by this dry leaf smell. Somehow. Mm. Fair it's enough. Nice. It's nice. It's not um, mind-blowing for me. Right. It's it, it feels uh, somehow shallow, like surface, a mm. lot of surface nodes. Mm, okay. Uh, There's quite of a this, lot of aroma quite, for a good tea too. Right. It's mm. um, quite precious, so I'm not going to rinse it. <laughs> no rinse. Okay. Rinse cancel. Mm. 
really obvious floral right away. Like, um, mm, pretty big for a rock tea. Like not those orchidy floral. It's more like a high floaty, I can't pick a single flower, but it's, it's not those deep thick ones. It's more like a, Mm, you smell. Oh, mm. Very nice floral. Interesting. Really nice. I'm going to have a look through the guy one because it's not all ripply. I want to check the clarity. Hmm. You mean the serving pot? Yeah, sorry, the serving pot. <laughs> Nice uh, amber color. Okay. It's wow. a nice tea. Oh, okay, really interesting. My thought on the first sip was, oh, I see why you say that it's a new style, which I may not still be wrong. It can still be a nice new style, but it really has a lot more a lot more floral than I'm expecting from a rock tea. Yeah. And when I say floral, guys, it's it's still not in the Taiwan Yin zone. It's just more than I'm expecting from a typical rock tea. Mm -hmm. It's a new style. It's definitely a new style, mate. You can see from the dry leaf. You can see from you can taste from the oh, yeah. the liquor. The, the mineral and rock elements are so different than what I'm used to. Um, I've used the granite term before, but this really pulls me towards the granite side rather than say uh, like a volcanic or other, like this is really like granite, um, mm. wet granite. Wet know. granite, that I, I totally, I couldn't uh, find the but word hang on, to describe it. With plenty of that it. floral still there. Mm. Mm. The floor is because it's done really mm. new style light. Wow. It almost, almost reminds me of a wudong dan chong. Yeah. In the terms of the depth of that floral. Mm. It's not a kind of a perfumey, flowy, mm. really superficial <laughs> kind of floral. Right. It has its own depth, but it's really a little bit... Um, sexy a little bit overly sexy for a rock tea you right. know what i mean like a right my take was the uh the lid was very quote unquote wudongy but high-end wudong like mm -hmm. it, but really those high floaty flowers perfumey but not in a bad way mm -hmm. on the lid then in the liquor i got that wet granite and the florals really integrated in that it's not gone at all it's really there uh, and a little hint maybe of that chocolate aroma I had, which is probably the roastiness still settling in. Lid. Ah, uh, that floral's gorgeous now. It's fully elegant. Right. It was a little bit overly sexy on the first smell. Now it's just elegant, like a gorgeous floral. Mm. For me, that's what I got. You can see by the liquor. Sorry. The rose is really light. The mm. oxidation and everything is quite light as we saw in the dry leaves. Right. Is it me or is it a touch cloudy too? It's just it a is touch. Cloudy. I thought it would be ultra clear, but I think a couple of things, right? It's pretty new. Absolutely. Um, mm. Yeah. Not so new. It's from last year, so. Oh, okay. I meant in terms of the roast sort of having enough time mm. in, that, in that aspect. Honestly, I'm quite surprised by the, by the smell on the dry leaf because mm. last year's rock tea, this is the prime time to have that after a year mm. of a sitting mm. and uh, mm. you know, transforming. Mm. But I still have that surface roasting right residue flavor that didn't quite transformed yet so 
I mean, so far, I don't think I'm blown away by this tea. Not to mention, I really think the maid should be a little bit improved. Right, right. Mm. You mean the um that that the, roast, the, the, roast? The, the, the production right. isn't really right up the level. I think. Do you think it's maybe related to the innovation that's going in here? Maybe they're still finding their way because it's very in terms of flavor. I find this really innovative and different and interesting as a rock tea. I would. Uh, I wouldn't call that innovative. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's a. Uh, a lighter version is more friendly to people who right. just getting into tea. Innovative in terms of, I think innovative is a good word, meaning pro, like making something better in a different way. Right. Something like that. It has to have, I think, a use for a good one. Not this one. Is that, is that for making that better? I don't think this did a fair job to the tea leaf or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, you really see that green tinge now. I have to admit, when you right? mentioned it on the dry leaf, I didn't really see it. But kudos to you. I, that is really uh, showing its greenness now. Right. That green-brown tinge. I have a little smell of that. The lid, the lid smells really good. Mm. I think I had a leaf on my nose. A little tobacco yeah. on the wet leaf. It's a really creamy floral. Yeah, yeah, more creamy than the uh, original, than the very first infusion. The first was more light floral. Light and floaty floral. Floaty mm. floral. This is definitely moving to the creamy zone. Yeah. Mm. What do you think of this tea? Uh, not what do you think, but more of what tea do you think it is? Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Now, I have I actually interestingly stopped thinking about that. I got a kind of t overtaken by the the uh, flavors and mouthfeel here. Mm. Wow, that's really tricky. Well, I'm just gonna think for a while. One thing I feel is I'm gonna, not I'm gonna, I'm regretting what I said at the beginning. As this tea is one of the most right. expensive teas, I think maybe market price might be there because it's title. Right. But the real value of it is definitely not. I felt that as I, you were talking. I, about. yeah, I had high hopes. We were both going in blind, so you're getting the uh, real deal here. Okay. In terms of what kind of tea? Okay, I'll save you that because it is really hard to guess. Wait. Mm -hmm. I still want. I want to take a stab at it. Okay. I'm just thinking, okay, I don't taste, I don't taste a super old bush here, but I might be wrong. Uh, the leaf was pretty long and pretty big. I kind of thought it might be Shui Xian earlier on. Flavor wise, is it still pushing me in that direction? Not really. I really, I have no traction here. I've never tasted a rock tea like this. It's almost going to be a wild guess. Let me have one more gander at the leaf, see if I get a little Hail Mary in there. Most of what you taste come from the process mm. with some of the material right, because of the, the, the profile of that floral, it, it has a good material. Mm. But the, they just made that like... Okay. Is it a Bai Sui Xiang? <laughs> no, no, uh -huh. no. I just went with the floral and I said, okay, that's one of the more flowery natural. But think about price tag. Think about uh, this uh, as yeah. one of the most. So it's Da Hong Pao. Ah, okay. And it's uh, said to be from <sighs> the seed from the mother bush. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you sometimes get them um, as grafts, right? Grafts from the mother bush. Mm. But this is. Uh, okay, so a, basically a child instead of a sort of a sibling or whatever you want to call a graft. Mm. Um, so a so first, very limited uh, mm -hmm. information. In terms of the seeds, then what? It's not mm. a bunch of seed or one seed then grafted. I'm not sure about the details, but right. the origin of this 
the origin story of the sea is the sea from the mother bush. So I would never have guessed that, okay, in terms of... Well, the, just that title, it <laughs> adds several zeros uh, behind Oh, sure, price absolutely. Tag. But in terms of the flavor, it didn't, it didn't give me any sort of Dahong Pao hints that I picked up on. No, no. No, for you too? I'm, I'm just curious because I, I thought maybe I'm... I look I'm... forward to more, have more infusions mm. and also afterwards I want to look at the leaves too. Let's have another infusion. Awesome. So, I really would never have guessed the Hong Pao. If never. you let me taste it and guess it, I don't think I wouldn't guess that either. Really? Yeah, the, the floral really threw me off. Complete curveball. Yeah, it's not just the floral, it just doesn't feel anything is up mm. that level kind of thing. So, I dig up this package. Mm -hmm. So, this package, it's not, it's a genu genuine, like pack. Genuine, like everybody can buy it kind of package, so it is not branded or anything. It's oh, just right. that. Oh, right. I see what you mean. But it says uh, it's a uh, Jolongke, which is the where the mother bush is. Actually, we have a vlog showing there. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> first, you don't have many Dahong Pao planted right underneath in that area. But uh, of course, in Chinese tea, you will find a lot of friends giving you a package, a genetic package. That generic. Yeah. Generic. <laughs> it's really common. Generic Let's spend two seconds on that just for people who aren't familiar. But uh, unlike here where just about everything you get uh, off the shelf comes in some kind of a branded package, mm. tea has a ton of generic packaging. So it's really common to see the same package with totally Almost different like, teas in like it. Almost like a Quebec uh, maple syrup. Yeah, the maple I thought that was it's a really good one. If people know yes. Quebec maple syrup, it all comes in that can and then the farmer puts his name of where he made that mm. similar okay mm. we can go back to that so that's now. why there's a written which was a written by my mom when I received that you make notes or stuff right three or four four i think four I think. Mm. so infusion four here i gave us a little bit of strong brew so yeah. the color is a little bit more darkened. to the amber side still very light yeah still quite light and clearing up Still a nice floral there nose on the liquor, go. right? Very interesting. A little, uh, a little side, side of the tongue tart. Lower back of the mouth, kind of tart, subtle, woody, kind of granite. I have to say, the mouth feel. I haven't made many comments about the mouth feel yet, but. Because there is no mouth. It didn't grab me at all. And I, when you were tell at the beginning, you were building that up as quite a big zero and top 10 and blah, blah, blah. Right. Normally I would be punched in the face with mouthfeel. Like really, um, it's a tricky thing to get used to quote unquote tasting because you're not tasting it, you're feeling it. And right. it's something that myself, I didn't have a good, when, we f when I first got started, I didn't have a good basis for how to pay attention to the feel in my mouth to get around the flavor. You kind of got to ignore the flavor and go for the feel. Mm. But this one, so I thought, oh, maybe I'm just having one of those rookie moments, but the more I taste it, the more I'm like, no, it's not really hitting me with a big mouthfeel, like a... Mm. Really thin. Mm. Really thin. Mm. Off the top 10 list. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Well, here is how my, uh, mm. my feeling goes, right? At first, I was really excited when I received this, and uh, oh, it's a... You know the seed from the mother bush, and I was expecting something more powerful because mm. just the title really, really get me excited. And um, when I smell the dry leaf, I have to say half of the excitement already burned away. Dissolved, right? I yeah. saw. I it's felt like, it melt away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like. Mm. It was a bit in the face for a, most of the high-end tea I've smelled. The aroma on the dry leaf is very conservative. Yeah, it's not well mm. made. Mm. Like that smell for me is not well made. Mm. So at least the production part already, uh, you know, there's a problem there. And no matter how good the tea it is, once it's made into tea, like the procedure, the 
production part is a, a major part of deciding right. how right. good this tea is, right? So I was like, 100%. okay, maybe the material will still make up for that, or maybe mm. something. Don't get us wrong, this is not a horrible sip at all. No, it's not a horrible sip. It's, it's just, just does it meet the expectation? Yes. Does it, and, and if probably if we saw the price tag, does it meet the price tag? Mm. Feeling like no. Mm. Thank you. It's always interesting to taste the liquor once it's cooled down a bit too. The aroma is more subdued because the liquor's cooler. Mm. Mm. And I get a bit more of that Da Hong Pao flavor, the little bit more ashy, granity, mineral, more rock tea flavor once it right. cools. The floral kind of sinks in. Don't you in. feel like, <clears throat> of course, this is my personal preference and uh, personal thoughts in terms of the rock tea. Like, rock tea has to have aroma, like a floral mm. side to make that balance. It's ah. more overall. But on the other hand, it's like, I don't drink rock tea because I love the right. aroma. I love the floral aroma. If I love the floral elements, I go for Dan Tong, I go for Teguan Yin, you know, Te Yin or mm. even Bai Qi Lan has mm. that. Mm. Like I like a solid ground, a solid mineral mm -hmm. ball, not right. quite tobacco, the dark chocolate, the richness and stuff. Mm -hmm. But this, like I, I like the tobacco like, too. Yeah, I like, but I you like want too, and you want the floral, but it needs to be a, a supporting element. Yes, like not on center stage. More complicated, mm. a more complex element, mm. not just the floral. I feel like almost hard talk, to detect. You would prefer. Yes, maybe after you sip it, mm. then you breathe out mm. or something. You have that uh, pleasant, a little bit of feminine elements to balance out that punch. kind of grounding it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But this, I feel like almost every infusion we talk about is the... Uh, mm. Certainly, the, yeah. Uh, no, I've never had a Gaiwan oh. lid so booming. It's, it's starting to lay back now, but in the and early if you infusions... Taste, like, of course, we can tell it's a lightly oxidized and lightly roast. Mm. And actually, by lightly roast, it's a badly roast. It's not just a light, but it also sits on the surface with mini burnt flavor. Mm. It's like almost like a rush to simplify uh. it, but uh, it wasn't well made, you know. And now you taste this later infusions, it starts to have that oxidation, mm. uh, oxidation oh. issue comes out more obvious. This also resonates or like co-proof what you taste in the mouth in terms mm. of that. Yeah, it supports it, right? Yeah, you want to open, close it. Right, sorry. right. Sorry. You want to was... close it to make sure it's yeah. concentrated just to smell that. Because that's just a clip. clip. I mean, a really, it's a really gentle like right. aroma. If it's you fully open it, you will overwhelmed by the light of floral. You will right, right. You wouldn't detect that. You've got to grab it right at the beginning of the open. Yes. Right. It has that uh, rawness, rawness like. Is that the, a ching chou? Ching yes. Chou? Ching mm. Chou. Mm. At different temperatures, different times, and how you open it, it really decides what you are smelling, mm. you know, what you are experiencing. Oh, got me hot again. Hot? Too much tea? <laughs> no such thing. I need to have a taller face to push that away from it. Oh, the like glasses. That. So you have airflow. Right. Mm. It's not a bad tea. You know no, no, saying? that's it's what I, we've kind of been a little down on it. So I want to emphasize that there's, no, it's not a bad sip at all. Yes. Like it's very drinkable it's very and it, drinkable. it's more about if I had to, if we pick this up off the shelf, would we have picked it up mm -hmm. after tasting it? Maybe not mm -hmm. uh, because I suspect the price tag is high, but this is a really, it's a very decent sip. Just not, 
you know, talking about top 10, top five experiences of right. tea, it's not even in my top five or top 10, personally. Maybe, and <laughs> maybe that could be our opening for a lot of tea tasting video and eventually maybe only half of that would, or even one third of that would actually make it to the expensive mm -hmm. list. Yeah. Probably lots of will be knocked over. Knocked over? Mm. Knocked out. Knocked out. Mm. <laughs> knocked over. Yeah, water is come out. Mm. Well, on the other hand, this is the first time I've ever had a uh, Da Hong Pao mother tree seed mm. tea. Me too, so, actually. First experience. I don't know if it's real. Right. Or not. We'll have to take some notes and remember it when we come to the next one. Mm. I gave them a mean <laughs> look. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're just waiting for this. This is getting tired really quick. Mm. I was going to say, uh, I'm looking for... Yeah, tops. Let's give it a smack. Yeah, we'll give it a smack down. Yeah. And, um, and I'm looking forward to looking at the, the brood leaf. Can I hit the table gently? Yeah. Smack down. <laughs> final infusion. If you're new, the smack down is where we do a final super long infusion. Mm -hmm. This is it. Five minutes? Ish, yeah, mm. in the five minute zone. And we're around infusion seven or eight, so. Not as long legs as I thought, not as much endurance as I thought we would get out of this tea. Because of how it's made too. Mm. Mm. All right. Still pretty light, huh? Mm-hmm. Start to have a little bit more. Yeah, just a touch of that uh, orangey red. Yeah. Well, I have to say, while it was steeping, I was reflecting on my unrealistic Expectation. Expectations? I don't think they were unrealistic, they just were unmet. But anyway. Because I was thinking it's just somebody's seed. It doesn't mean how <laughs> somebody... No, I get it. Well, you I think what I you're mean? saying is uh, just, you know, might be a great kid, might be a bad kid, right? <laughs> so, bad kid. <laughs> I mean, there's no other implication of it's good. Maybe right, the right. war or stuff. But right. In and not end. to mention the processing, which you found lots of trouble with yes. the processing, which really needs, you know, it's an 80, 90% of what we're getting is from that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Really drinkable Smackdown. Usually the Smackdown pulls out a bunch of stuff. A bit harder to drink, not harder, but you know, it's just got a bit of astringency, but this one was pretty smooth, which is a little, again, Finally start to have something of a mouthfeel, but mm. with such a long steep, mm. and in terms of the flavor, I mean, it's bitter, but not overly bitter. It's mm. not awful, but it's not rich enough with the and astringency afterwards. Mm. Mm. Interesting start, I have to say. Um, the process really did a whole, like a, oh, that whole flowery rock tea thing was very interesting at, at the beginning. It really threw me for a curveball. I knew we were going into a rock tea. Mm -hmm. We had this booming floral, which was shocking to me. I wasn't sure what was going on, to be honest. <clears throat> In the end, we got more, more mineral coming out, more rockiness, the flowers start to pull back a bit, the floweriness, the, uh, and we got some creamy flour. Mm -hmm. And then in the Smackdown, it just kind of, Probably out of died. It's okay. Just like our camera battery. In the end, it's funny that it timed like that. Right. 
All right, folks. Well, that was an exciting ride. We mm. started out sort of interesting in a ride. very interesting ride. We started out, uh, I didn't know what was going on with the tea, which I didn't know that would happen. I actually thought I would be told straight up and you would be told, no, we had to guess. It was maybe in the top five, top 10 of best ever tea. That didn't work out, but- Well, I have to say, in terms of how this is made, I give it two out of 10 tops. I owe. Pop. So, so we did a complete about face from how we started. Still a pretty, like in terms of flavor, I, I think it's still a drinkable. Drink. If I got this for a decent, uh, for a decent price, I would, I definitely would Absolutely. drink it. And um, yeah, an enjoyable tasting with you guys. Mm -hmm. So if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Absolutely. If you want to try some real tasting great mm. rock teas, I would definitely put some of my suggestions and links down below with some wonderful accessible daily rock teas if you're into this type of tasting profile. Yeah, we'll even put a couple down there. If you're new to it, that might be a good bridge to get you into it if you're interested to explore a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is the best way to support our channel. While you, you sip some wonderful teas, we can continue our passion for tea. You bet. So until next time. Keep steeping. Keep steeping.